What better symbol of French seductiveness than the Moulin Rouge? But the playful image of Gallic sensuality has recently come under scrutiny. When seduction turns into sexual assault, women in France have traditionally been under pressure to stay silent. It was only after the allegations surrounding Dominique Strauss-Kahn in New York that writer Tristan Banon filed a complaint for attempted rape against the former IMF chief. It involves an incident dating back to 2003. Her mother originally talked her out of pressing charges, fearing her daughter would be defamed. A few weeks after the incident, I talked to Dominique Strauss-Kahn. He said he'd completely lost his head. He'd had a sexual relationship with me several years before. And when he saw my daughter, he said he was overwhelmed and he had to have her too. The attack on Tristan might never have come to light had it not been for inquisitive foreign journalists. It became such an enormous issue. On May the 15th, I suddenly had the choice of either saying that my daughter had lied, which isn't true, or telling the truth, that yes, there had been a previous case in France. It then made sense for my daughter to press charges. And Strauss-Kahn will now indeed face a court in Paris. Whatever application has been made or is being made today. His arrest in New York in May sent shockwaves through France, especially since he was seen as a likely contender in next year's presidential elections. At this counseling center for rape victims, advisors say women have gained more confidence in the wake of the Strauss Kahn scandal. It was liberating. It especially affected women who felt small when facing a person with power. They told themselves, if a hotel maid finds the courage to speak out about what happened to her, then so can I. An estimated 75,000 women a year raped in France, but only 10% of the cases actually make it to court. Martine Simon is one of that minority. She worked in the town hall in the Paris commune of noisy sur marne and was repeatedly abused by the mayor. Eventually, support from other women encouraged her to press charges. I was scared of him, not because he was physically brutal, but because of his position as senator and mayor. I thought, if I say something, they'll throw me out. But I needed the caretaker job because I'm raising my children on my own. Martine Simon won the case, but at a price. While her tormentor only received a fine, she lost her job and apartment. When you take action to stop sexual harassment and violence at the workplace, you get accused of destroying this wonderful French model of seduction. They say that everyone who tells the sad truth, like the media, is destroying our culture. Corsette magazine, a newspaper written for feminists, mocks the cliché of the seductive Frenchman. This is a country, after all, where the privileges of the powerful are often considered to include sexual domination of junior staff. Macho bravado is traditionally played down. I was extremely shocked to see intellectuals defending Strauss-Kahn. They forgot about their feminist convictions just because he's their friend and they belong to the same caste. The Dominique Strauss-Kahn affair might soon fade into the woodwork, but the debate about where sexual seduction ends and rape begins has only just started in France.